I want to give a quick island update. What I do remember last doing was kind of like zhuzhing up this little area over here. Ooh, cute. And as you can see, Fang now lives on the beach because I did move a lot of villagers' houses out of the way and cleared out a bunch of inclines and stuff just to kind of help flatten the island a lot easier. And then more importantly, down this way, ooh, look at this cute little thing I did. I don't remember if I showed it off. Uh, shout out to Orgo Ali once again. Um, Kind of stole this idea from them. This little crosswalk thing kind of got like destroyed and ruined from the little stream that's running. All the buildings that used to be here are now gone. This area is completely flat. Kind of wanted to do like a giant little castle thing that people do. And then up this ramp over here, kind of have some something brewing, something trying, that I'm trying to figure out. I don't exactly know what I want to do yet, but it's here for now. All I know for sure is I want to put a house right over here. Um, and then this kind of like little area, I want to have like a cute shortcut that kind of leads behind Teddy's house. That way, like the villagers that live on that side can kind of get back. And then one more thing that I did, just really quick, really quick, look at this. I put Quinn's house over here because I thought it'd be really cute for her to be like right behind. I don't know, this area right here is just so cute overall. And today we're gonna be doing something very, very fun and very, very stupid. Um, You can probably tell from the thumbnail, I am making a giant, giant lake once again. It's gonna go right where I'm standing. I don't know how else to get to the point, so let's just start it. I love that like I took God knows how long of a break from, you know, just terraforming and playing this game. And now I'm immediately back and I'm just like, screw it. Let's just build a giant lake. I really do plan on cluttering up this island with a lot of items. So having a lot of water does help with item lag, by the way, just in case you didn't know. So that's kind of the main reason why I want to do it. But first things first, me being the dummy that I am. Ooh, I forgot to clean up before I started. So let me just quickly do that as I'm already doing it. Yeah, I don't exactly know how big I want this lake to be as of yet. We'll figure that out. I want the lake to be like kind of just a little cute viewing thing, specifically one that you see from like over here and like from up here. So I definitely want it to go far enough so that you can't see the other side. Also, look at this because I'm so far away. The cliff over there that's usually back there, it's just not spawning. Like you can see the inside of the bridge and like the little support beams that are supposed to be in the river. I'm going to do the trick that I did last time. It's not really a trick, but like, I'm just gonna open up the camera, put it like up here and then just run far back and just see how far it goes until I like disappear pretty much. So like there. Okay, so that's pretty much up until the cliff. So I might as well just do it all the way up until the cliff. That's a good idea. I don't exactly know how wide I want this thing to be at least. All I know is for sure, I want it to go behind Quinn's house. So we might as well just start over here by Quinn's house because well, as you can see, I already started. This is gonna definitely take a while, that's for sure. And it's gonna be oh so exciting as well. I cannot wait. Now, I think for the time being on this side, since I don't exactly know what I wanna do, I think I'm just gonna have it like end right here by this cliff because I don't even know what I wanna do up here. And like back here, I don't know if I wanna just continue this cliff back or like have the lake keep going. It, it, it ish like leave me alone i'm i'm still deciding it is currently the tuesday when they announced the direct can we talk about the direct really quick um while i do this because it's happening it's tomorrow at least at the time of recording the only thing that i'm like really really hoping for i don't think they're even gonna announce it at the direct the thing i want the most is pokemon dlc for scarlet and violet but they're not going to announce it at the direct. I would be surprised, especially with Pokemon Day coming so soon. If you're also hoping for Pokemon Scarlet Violet DLC tomorrow, um, yeah, they're not going to announce it tomorrow. I'd be surprised if they do, though, because you never know. I don't know what else I'm looking forward to, though, because like, honestly, I don't know. I'm not really excited for anything video game wise, like as of yet. I mean, I guess there's the new Legends of Zelda game, Breath of the Wild, Part two, Tears of the Kingdom. I haven't finished Breath of the Wild, <laughs> so <laughs> I am excited for the new game. I will say I'm still playing Breath of the Wild on my own time. I want to have it finished at least by the time, you know, the game comes out so that I can be all cut up with everybody and like not left out. I guess if we get news on that, I would be pretty excited. Tomodachi Life Community, 
y'all i'm on your side i have such high hopes for y'all every single direct i just know that nintendo is gonna listen to y'all one day and answer your prayers i just know i have high hopes for you don't worry y'all i'm praying for you i don't know if i personally want nintendogs sorry <laughs> like like i do like nintendogs i do I personally wouldn't mind if we don't get it for the Switch, but I know, I know for a fact that a lot of y'all want it. So like, at least for y'all, I hope you get it because it's what you deserve. It is what you deserve. The fact that we still haven't gotten Nintendogs on the Switch yet, interesting. Same with Tomodachi Life. I'm more surprised about Tomodachi Life not being on the Switch because like, it's a good game. It's like one of their most inventive games. But I guess the main reason why is because it does really look like they're trying to shy away from like the whole me thing. Although Miitopia exists, so I don't know. Miitopia was like really the only thing that we had close to like those me style games that like revolve around your me's. Nintendo, why are they even like getting rid of that? I don't know. The me these are so fun. Look at everything else, like we Fit. We don't have Wii Fit on the Switch at all. We have, the closest thing we have is that Ring Girl game. And then Wii Sports for the Switch is just Nintendo Switch Sports. And it's like, you can't even, well, you can play as Miis, but like, they're not the center of it which is so dumb. I don't know why. That's why I feel like if Tomodachi Life does end up coming for the Switch, I'm a little worried that they might not make it like me focus and it might just be a bunch of brand new characters instead which oh my god nintendo if you do that please don't i feel like this might surprise people but like i've never played tomodachi life on the 3ds the main reason for that was because hello it's me i'm gay as fuck and you can't have gay couples in the game so I was like, what's the point of me playing if I can't do that? I know you can just have people play as the opposite genders, but it's like, that's weird. That defeats the purpose. It's like, at the end of the day, the game's gonna just recognize them as a straight couple. That's not fun to me. I want the game to recognize that they're gay. So yeah, at least like, if we do end up getting Tomodachi Life for the Switch, I hope they just kind of, not necessarily like highlight you know, queerness. Well, I mean, I would prefer it if they highlighted queerness, obviously, but I would prefer if like, they just kind of got rid of gender as a whole. I think that would be a lot better. Kind of like what they did with Animal Crossing. Like technically your characters aren't gendered, although they, I don't know, like it's confusing. <laughs> like, you know, they kind of are. Nintendo is kind of like starting to pivot away from like specific gender roles for their characters, especially in like life sim games. Are there hopes for Nintendo Direct? I don't know. I feel like they're going to announce Mario Kart DLC. Like that's probably a given. Can you fucking put it where I want you to put it. I'm playing with the pro controller this time too. Last time I was control, I was complaining about the joy cons. This time I'm playing with the pro controller, seeing if that's making a difference. No, it's not. Maybe I'm the problem, you know? <laughs> These stupid joysticks. Like, why? I'm gonna keep going at this lake. I've kind of already made a lot of progress. Oh no, I'm on an island. Oh, I have no way of getting out of here. I had to make an escape route really quick. Hang on, hang on. All right, crisis averted. Now it's time we talk about Drag Race. I feel like it's been a while, for me at least. I feel like everybody who's not interested in Drag Race, like y'all were living, y'all were like, yes, he finally shut up about that show. But nope. Not for long, I'm back to talking about it. Season 15, so like what literally, I don't even know what episode we're on. <laughs> Can I just say that really quick? What happened? What was the last episode? It was the girl groups episode, right? I feel like, I feel like with this acting challenge, I think Mistress is winning, which I hope she does. I hope she does because I am rooting for Mistress, just so we know. Okay, here's a quick progress update on the leg. Ooh, it's like starting to come together. Okay, do not get me started on Twitter. <laughs> These stupid Drag Race viewers, they're not Drag Race fans, I'm sorry. I called them Drag Race fans before, no you're not. You guys are not Drag Race fans, you guys are fucking idiots. First with Mistress, Mistress like gets shady towards the twins in the first episode, and then of course y'all decide to attack her and be fat phobic and fucking racist towards her for no reason. Because like even Sugar and Spice weren't that mad at her for that shit. Why were y'all getting mad on behalf of them? And then the whole thing where Mistress correct 
directly read Marsha down. And people got so mad that they mass reported her Instagram account and she got suspended like three or four times. She's not a baby. She doesn't need y'all defending her by putting down another queen and mass reporting their accounts and just sending them hate. Like Malaysia literally tweeted out people were being straight up racist to her because she hurt Marsha's feelings when Marsha herself isn't even bothered by it. Like the whole thing with Mistress, she had to come out and be like, can y'all stop doing this? It's not working. It's not worth it. I don't understand why. Why people feel the need to like get protected, protective over somebody on a TV show, especially like a real person. Do you think they're babies? Do you think they need your help? They don't even know who you are. And here you are just being openly racist and fat phobic. If it was Marsha who read Mistress or she read Malaysia, y'all would be on her side. Y'all would be congratulating her. Y'all would be like, oh my God, she fucking ate. Oh my God, she dragged that bitch to the mud. But the fact that it was the other way around in real life, like let's look at it. It was Malaysia who read Marsha. It was Mistress who met, who read Marsha. Y'all were like, she's so mean. She's such a bully. When neither of them were wrong, by the way. That whole thing is just pissing me off because it's like, all it's proving is that you are losers. Like why? <laughs> Why? Marsha's not proud of y'all for coming to her and defending her by being racist and mass reporting Mistress in Malaysia's accounts. Y'all really need an excuse to be fat phobic towards queer people on here. Like, that's just what it is. Sorry, like just, just to quickly get that out of the way, like that whole thing just pissed me off. But it turns out the show itself, um, the show's going fine. Like at this point, I think now that the queens are starting to like dwindle down, it's starting to get okay at least. I don't know, like the design challenge, personally, like I was a fan of that episode. It was a good episode for me, but that's cause I feel like with design episodes, like you don't really need to spend too much time with the queens because you know, nine times out of 10, none of them are like key keying or like having gossip chats or whatever. They're all focused on working on their garments, you know, in terms of the drama and the storylines and stuff. Like the only thing they can really do is have that one queen be like, oh my God, I don't know how to sew. Or that other queen that's like, oh, I have to restart my entire garment. Oh no, I'm not going to have enough time. Like that's really the only two storylines you can get out of them. I thought that Lux absolutely deserved her win. Genuinely, if you disagree with that, be honest with yourself. Do you actually disagree with that or are you just saying it because you want to be unique and you want people to pay attention to you online and then this last episode the girl group challenge i was so happy that the old gays were there oh my god i love those four men so much even though only three of them were there i wish they got more screen time though like that's one thing i was kind of surprised that they were just there at the beginning only one of them spoke they didn't even let the other two speak maybe that was just because the episode itself was short they probably had more to say but who knows um, the episode itself was all right to me. I thought the little fights that they had, they were great. Honestly, it was so cute and fun. I didn't watch Untucked, but, um, hmm, you know, if you heard my rant earlier, you know how I feel about that. Stop taking things so seriously. That's the only thing I have to say. Aura Mayari haters, by the way. I hope y'all are freaking mad. Stay mad, stay mad. Like sure, you could argue that like Sasha did probably deserve the win. I thought Aura getting the win was fine. I had nothing against it. Aura did just as well. She had a great runway too. Like why are y'all so pressed that badly that Aura won the challenge? Like you're saying it like it was George just winning the sewing challenge over anybody else. Like Aura did good. Sure, I would have been happy to see Sasha win as well, but like, I have nothing against Aura winning personally. I was all right with the win. Sasha, I think at this point, it's very, very obvious. She's going far. The weirdest thing was that this episode, even though Aura won and like this episode should have been centered around Aura, it was still centered around Sasha. And I feel like that's why so many people thought she was gonna win. Cause like, you know, during the workroom, she was talking about how, you know, she's happy to be a 30 year old trans woman because most of her trans friends never made it to that age, which was like, really cool to hear about, you know, like during the workroom and everything, like even during the fight, like the fight, which was mainly between mistress 
Lux and Malaysia. They were still cut into Sasha every now and then and like getting her opinions on everything. They always do that on the show. Like every time they cut to a queen, even when they're not necessarily involved with the story and they keep giving them confessionals, like they're most likely gonna go far. I feel like the only like example of that not being true was Amethyst. I will admit, like I am surprised Amethyst actually went home. I like I I get it okay because during the sewing challenge like yeah she had the worst garment I will admit that it was her third time in the bottom and Selena obviously did better than her in the lip sync I thought Amethyst was gonna go further though but like I should have known because during snatch games she did really really good but like she got no cookies for it she got no flowers for her performance like she was just safe and the judges just like you know, passed her off. I just wish she went further because like she could have had such a good underdog storyline being in the bottom the first two weeks and then somehow pulling through and going further in the competition. Next week is an acting challenge. And like I said, I think and I hope Mistress wins. I'm rooting for Mistress. I feel like we are definitely getting a Jax versus Anitra lip sync. I want a Jax versus Anitra lip sync. Like that's all I want. So it better happen. That's all I'm going to say. It better happen. I've actually managed to like do a lot. Wow. Like I really just sat here and got mad <laughs> at people on Twitter and that helped me power through this lake. Like this is going a lot quicker than I thought it was going to go. I'm going to be honest. I thought this was going to go a lot a lot longer let's just keep going let's see if i could get this leg done as soon as i can the main reason why i'm doing this once again it's for item lag it does help with item lag just because i plan on putting a lot of items and also i feel like it acts as like a good dividing point for the island as a whole because i feel like i always do this but i like to have the front of the island be a lot more you know urban in the sense that like i like to have a lot of villagers towards the front i like to have a lot of the buildings the back sides of the island i prefer them being a lot more untouched a lot more abandoned everything's a lot more spaced out and i feel like that's the main reason why i like having a giant lake because it's like the other side of the lake like oh nobody's allowed there that's kind of the storyline i want to go with this island because again this island is going to be a lot more abandoned and untouched maybe zombie apocalypse vibes but i feel like that's just because i'm watching the last of us right now maybe like one or two villagers in the back because honestly it could be really funny to have like that one villager that like everybody's like you're not allowed to live there you're gonna die and he's like try me i'm gonna prove y'all wrong what other plans do i even have with the island like i said going for that abandoned vibe maybe not like fully abandoned themed because like i don't know like zombie apocalypse themed island that could be fun but at the same time like <laughs> It's Animal Crossing, so it's like, I don't know, put in violent themes and stuff like that in this game. Like, it's it's possible to do it. I agree. But like, I don't know. It's just in, in Animal Crossing, like, it just feels weird. <laughs> I feel like instead of going for like zombie theme, I'd probably go for like the Bridge of Therabithia, like that kind of vibe. I know it was all in their imagination, but like make it come to life. Like they pass the bridge and all of a sudden they're in like a fantasy land. Ooh, like that wizard town in The Sims, kind of like that, but there's no teleportation device. It's just a bridge or something along those lines. Ooh, which that reminds me. Oh my God, wait, I was planning on doing that. I guess I should figure that out now. I wanted to put boats. Oh my God, how did I just completely forget I was gonna do that? I wanna put boats. Wait, 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 wait. We need to come back here and figure this out boats okay first of all here's the lake oh my god this already looks so cool whoa i'm happy that the cliff is actually spawning in now you can kind of see it in the background wait let me come up here oh never mind <laughs> okay never mind the cliff's gone again i feel like we need to get close to like i'm pointing like y'all can see it i don't know how to sh editor me like editor me will tell you that point right over there in this little corner i want to put like a boat maybe here i'm gonna like quickly go like let's just plop a boat down let me just like quickly run back up and like see if you can see it from where i want you to be able to see it from a lot of running back and forth in this video Ooh, teddy's awake i feel like just one space to the back could be good because right now it just looks like the boat is floating all right let me now i gotta run all the way back so i can actually see if i can if it worked. See, this is when it would be fun to have like a co-op mode in Animal Crossing where you can like terraform together, you know? Cause then it's like one person could just stand here and then just tell you instead of having to like constantly run back and forth. I think that looks good though. Yeah, that does work. So I think that's where I'll put the boat. Yep, there it is. Just an abandoned little ship. 
in the middle of this giant body of water. All right, back to building. Um, oh my God, we're in the home stretch right now. I really just spent this entire time talking while doing it, but that was fun. I think I'm gonna just leave it here for now because I wanna figure out what I wanna do over here. Let me quickly do this little corner over here. Oh my God, jump cut. Look at that, we're done. The lake is finished for now. I'll probably kind of zhuzh up the lake and do things, you know, as we progress through the island. But there it is. And now it's time for the final reveal of said lake from this corner. Ooh, that looks fun. That does look cool. Um, yeah, like I said, I'm probably going to put like a little house over here. But from the main area where I want the lake to be visible. Ooh, ooh, from Teddy's house. Oh, my God, Teddy. Teddy made the right choice. Oh, wow. Do not, do not pan the camera upwards when you visit. Well, from here, it looks fine. It's only from the camera it looks bad. And I'm not building things for the camera. I'm building things for the real life experience. All right, I'm probably gonna push the boat back off later on, but ooh, like this giant, giant, giant body of water right behind Teddy's house. Teddy made the right choice moving to this island. He's getting the best view of his damn life. As he should, honestly. All right, it's a few hours later and I am back because I want to keep decorating. Now, I specifically, you know, I showed this area off before. I wanted to put a house here and kind of decorate that. And like, I have kind of an idea of whose house I want to put there. So without further ado, I think I'm just going to start right away by getting the house plot and moving it. And can I just say, I think it's about to rain on the island. Oh my God, I forgot how pretty the island looks when the clouds are starting to like form up like crazy. I don't know, just the lighting and everything. Obsessed, I'm obsessed. I don't know why I'm like, ooh, I'm about to move a building. I wonder which one, like, why am I keeping it a mystery? It's Biff, I'm gonna move Biff over there because I feel like his house and just him as a character works for the location and what I'm planning. Like I said, I am planning on doing Happy Home Paradise again so I can renovate all of these stupid villagers' houses. So I guess like, we'll just go over the lore real quick. I don't know, like I said, I'm not really someone who likes to give like lore to my characters, specifically like in terms of like aesthetic reasons. I usually just prefer like the drama and the story times and stuff like that. I don't know, I feel like with this island, I really, really, really wanna try and get into that shit. So I think like so far, the kind of idea that I have is that like this area over here kind of like, the rundown, overgrown, abandoned little village. Not necessarily like a QZ zone in The Last of Us, but more so like Jackson in The Last of Us 2, which, spoiler, it's less scary and more realistic and wholesome. Um, But then in terms of Biff's house, which is why I kind of have him over here, like I want him to be sort of like another Last of Us reference. Like, do you know that abandoned gas station that Joel and Ellie toured before they went to Bill and Frank's house? Kind of like that vibe, sort of. Like this is like an abandoned little, abandoned little shack right outside of the QZ or the town that Biff just happens to live in. It's just very rundown and abandoned, kind of sort, Oh my God, she wants to fight me. She wants to fight me. That's a perfect time to time travel to the next day before she could even try it with me. All right, it is now a bright and early. What day is it of the week? I don't even know. In the game, March 19th, 2023. I don't know what day that is. <laughs> Why does it? Hey, Biss, perfect timing. I've been thinking about moving out. Bye. <laughs> Okay, look, look, I know I just said I was about to decorate his yard and like make up a storyline for him, but honestly, I wasn't planning on keeping Biff. I have his amiibo. I don't give a fuck about him. Honestly, look at him. He's already willing to run away from me. You know what that means? Like I can decorate this place and then after he moves out, we can go and find a villager whose house actually looks better for the area that I have planned. Oh my God, that works out so perfectly. Why is he staring like that at the damn bug? What did the bug do to you? In terms of what I want to do with now it's not Biff's house, it's whoever's gonna live here's house. Yeah, so I was saying earlier, like abandoned little shack. I think the actual plan that I have is that I wanna turn the villager's house into a shop, like an abandoned shop that they just happen to camp out at. You know, like it's not actually their house, they just kind of live there without anybody knowing because, you know, they don't actually have a house because, you know, things are dead and stuff. I don't exactly know how to start this <laughs> though, so, 
Um, I'm just gonna let y'all in on a fair warning. If I abandon this build and go on a villager hunt, um, don't be surprised. I wanna create like a little plaza entrance thingy using the path. And I feel like I'm gonna get a lot of people in the comments being like, why do you use your phone to place down designs? Listen, it works for me. Stop judging me and mind your business. But just to shut y'all up, maybe I'll actually try and use the pathing tool instead this time. Um, yeah, I just kind of have like this giant little square right here. I think that's like a good little thing. And obviously I'm not gonna keep it like this. I'm most likely do some zhuzhin up. Comment down below if you're surprised by that. And we'll see what we can come up with. I think we're gonna do like a little that. That looks cute so far. Okay, I don't know why I just started doing things. Um, And now all of a sudden I have this hole in the middle of the path. I did not mean to do that, but I'm gonna go with it because I think it's fun. Does this look cool? <laughs> this is so random. Um, It's just like two circles. Did not intend for that to happen. Maybe I should rework this, hang on. Like, let's get rid of that one. There, that looks a little better and more intentional. All right, I still have the whole rest of the thing to do. All right, it's figured out. There, I took it from what it looked like before, and now it looks like this. I'm gonna just grab a few items that I think would work with the vibe. Like I said, I'm trying to go for abandoned supermarket sort of thing, or like abandoned gas station. So definitely that item would be good. I think like right away, I wanna put the bus stop just like over here to really try and make this place look like a cute little shack. Um, ignore the color choices. It doesn't matter because Biff's about to move out anyways. So we won't have to stare at this for too long. And Daisy Mae, can you freaking move please? You and your snotty little nose. I think I'm gonna put this barrel like right here and then the other barrel like over here. Cute. Ooh, you know what would be even better? if we like layer the items, put like the drink machines behind them. So kind of create like maybe like, you know, these are Biff's crops or whatever that he has. Like this is his food, this is his drinks. Nobody else is allowed to touch it or they're gonna get shot. Imagine Animal Crossing characters if they had guns. <laughs> Like, honestly, it would be so funny. You know it's true. You know it would be funny. I would laugh. Comment down below if you would laugh if you saw an Animal Crossing character with a gun. Maybe like a little fence in the corner like that. And that's good enough. And this can actually be the little viewpoint. And then maybe like, I have flowers in here. Or maybe this pumpkin sprout. Like he just has like a little, a, a, he's just growing pumpkins. Just one singular pumpkin. <laughs> That seems like something someone would do if they were living here. This kind of looks cute already. <laughs> uh, maybe we'll grab some trees to kind of like fill out the space. I'm honestly running out of ideas already on what to do. Maybe this video is gonna turn into a villager hunt after all. Screw it. Like it's an animal, this is how I play Animal Crossing. I think that's what I'm learning more and more. Like it shouldn't just be about doing things for the video and like doing specific things. Oh. Like I should just play the game how I play the game on my channel and y'all should just watch it and suffer. So we'll just put the one tree over here and honestly call it there because I actually don't know what else to do. Well, I can plant a weed right here. Hang on, I'm, I love how I said it was done and now I'm like doing more things because I'm realizing I can put that there and that's good enough. Biff, here's your brand new yard, your brand new home that you're only gonna live in for like three days. That's so sad. So that's good enough. I am gonna villager hunt now. It's an angry coconut villager hunt. I got how many tickets? I have 57 tickets. I think we're gonna take 20 tickets. No, you know what? To shake up the stakes, no, we're gonna take 10, just 10, and actually stick to the 10 this time. Um, let's just do that. Let's just do that. Biffington Jr., we're saying goodbye to you. Thanks for talking sense into me. I decided to move. Did you know I named all the sweat stains in the carpet? You have a concrete floor. What do you mean carpet? Haha, <laughs> we meet again. Or did that first meeting happen in my dreams this morning? Okay, why is he flirting? It is seven in the morning and you're already flirting with me. You are so bold. Dude, you would not believe what Pietro just said to me. It was so wild. Once again, we're twinning with green. I hear it's super in these days to decorate with stuff like my color block dress shirt. Now folks can't accuse me of stuffing my dirty gym clothes back there in their drawers. You wear this shirt to the gym? This is a dress shirt. You work out in a dress shirt? That does seem like something you would do though, honestly, Teddy. So I'm not gonna judge you for that. Who do we think is gonna be on island number one? 
Let's find out in three, two, one. Oh my God, it's Lily. A queen, a girl, an icon. She could be fun to have on the island, man. Someone who you can confide in when you need to spill some tea. But I think Lily, I would be doing Lily a solid by not letting her onto an island with Shino. Shino, like she just got free of Shino's shackles. Like I don't need to, I don't need to rope her back in. No, 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 I'm not gonna do that to her. Also, by the way, like this island right now, I was just talking about it, like how, you know, things look right before it starts raining. Pretty, 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 pretty. Oh my God. And also like weird tangent, but like it's officially time, at least here in Canada, like today at 5 p.m., it was still bright outside. We have made it through another time change farmer's daylight saving thing. I don't know what they're actually called, but we've done it. We've done it. This means spring is officially coming. I'm so ready. <laughs> I feel like I see this every year. Every time winter's almost done, I'm just like, I'm so ready for the brighter days and blah, blah, blah. No, but like, honestly, even though this year, like, I don't really leave the house, it still does really affect your mental health, man. When it gets dark at 5 p.m., it's just ugh, ugh. like, that's just the best way to say it. Can we talk about the direct again? Because like I recorded that last part like a few hours ago. And since then, like people have been posting their direct theories and stuff. And like I watched the Arlo video. Arlo made a video about it where he was basically saying that this might be the Nintendo Switch's like final years and stuff because it doesn't really seem like we're getting a lot of games this year. And also the Switch has been around for almost seven years. Like it's currently about to hit its sixth year. The Switch has been out for six years. That is so wild to me. It's also so wild because it came out in 2017. I graduated high school in 2017. So it means that I've been out of high school for six years. I don't know why like I'm surprised by that. I've literally graduated university. This shouldn't be a surprise. Neither is Nox's existence. Nobody is happy to see you. I don't know because like I've been hearing theories for a long time that like Nintendo might be planning on moving on to the next console soon. You know, like there's specifically the theory with like the games getting delayed. Tears of the Kingdom got delayed. And apparently the big rumor is that they delayed it so that they could announce a new Switch. Although apparently that rumor is not true. And more importantly, like, I feel like it kind of makes sense with Pokemon as well. Cause like Pokemon performed really badly on the Switch. But then people were saying how if you overclock the Switch or like play it on your PC or whatever through an emulator, the game runs completely fine. You know, the, the problem really is just the Switch's chip. It's not optimized for the game. And it's like people were saying how apparently they did that because the game wasn't actually made for the Switch. It was made for the next gen console instead, but they had to, you know, scale it down because of a last minute delay or something. I don't know. Because like I, like on the one hand, I'm like, it would make sense with the timeline. The Switch has been around for a really long time, but it's like genuinely though, like what would the next console be? I don't know. It's kind of hard to imagine because I feel like the Switch really is an evolved version of the Wii. And it's like a good version. It's like you're able to play on your TV and you're also able to play portable. It's the Wii and the DS combined. What more can you go with that? I mean, like best case, he's not gonna remember me, my baby. Wait, he would work. He would work for this island, but I don't want him. Y'all are gonna have to get mad at me in the comments. I already had him on this island. Why would I bring him back? Oh, Lucky, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I feel like ever since you came into my life, I've just been doing you dirty. Okay, yeah, it's like, what would the next console be? I mean, like my best case scenario would be like they've somehow managed to add another screen onto the Switch so that you could play dual screen portable but then it's like how would that work on a tv i don't i don't know i don't know like what would the next console be and it's like now people are saying that like the next gen console might be coming i feel like switch pro makes the most sense like just keep the switch and just give it the specs that it deserves in this day and age another ex-resident meringue cool we're on a money rock island the person is now once again behind my face it's nibbles cute she definitely does look like a zombie. I don't want her, so I'm not gonna take her. We have five tickets left. As a reminder to me, I am actually gonna try to stick to the 10 tickets this time. I feel like I haven't done that in a while. Nintendo Direct is happening. Do I have any expectations? Like, aside from the ones I've already said, no. I feel like the one like long shot idea I have 
is another Animal Crossing update. <laughs> I really do think that, but like, I just, I don't know. I don't know, especially with the talks that there's another console coming. I highly doubt they're gonna, unless like Nintendo Switch games, you know, there's like backwards compatibility, which is why I like, I feel like it's not, it's not gonna be like a brand new console. It's probably just gonna be like a really major upgrade to the Switch because it's like, look at how many Switch games there are. I don't know. It's like, why would they spend the time? Well. I was gonna say, why would they spend the time porting all those games once again? But like, look at PlayStation. Look how many consoles The Last of Us is available on. But I just feel like it could be interesting if we did get like some Animal Crossing news, because like, you know, the three year anniversary since New Horizons, one of the best selling Switch games. It's been a very long time since the 2.0 update. So it could make sense for there to be another update in the, oh my God, oh my God. Oh my God, man, I kicked her out prematurely. I, I do not want to bring her back. I know that girl is mad at me too. She's so mad at me. She can't even look this direction. She heard my big mouth come and she is purposely looking the other way because she doesn't want, she doesn't even want to look at me. Yeah, there's always that argument that like Animal Crossing New Leaf got an update five years later. So maybe New Horizons would too. But I feel like a lot of people don't realize that like New Leaf got that update as a way to promote Amiibo. Like, <laughs> because Animal Crossing had two games that introduced Amiibo to the mainstream world. It wasn't a mainline game. It was both of their spinoff games during that era. Happy Home Designer and then Amiibo Festival, which was the thing that introduced Animal Crossing Amiibo, and that game flopped, as we all know, though both of those games, technically both of those games did flop. Even Happy Home Designer flopped. I feel like it was still a really successful game, but compared to New Leaf, it the sales were like, it's the same thing with Happy Home Paradise too, when you really think about it. But like, I feel like that's just because designing's not for everybody, blah, blah, blah. And I feel like because they had so much Amiibo that they needed to sell, that's why they just ended up making the Welcome Amiibo update as a way to sell the Amiibo. It was a good idea on their behalf and they should have just done that. Is that mint? Oh my God, why am I seeing so many squirrels today? Unless some weird circumstance happens, I don't think there's gonna be another Animal Crossing update for New Horizons because I really do feel like with the 2.0 update, again, another theory, that I have, and I feel like a lot of people have this. I don't know, I don't really see people talk about it, but like, I feel like the 2.0 update wasn't actually supposed to happen. Cause um, you know, COVID happened. And cause of that, a lot of bad things happened. And like one thing was that workplaces and everything, they had to shut down, people had to quarantine, people lost time to work on things. We've seen it affect so many things like film, TV, everything. So many things got delayed. Jesus, Jesus, nope, nope, nope. You know it's bad, I'm calling for a different God from a different religion. That's how bad it is every time I see him. Oh my God. <laughs> Brewster has been in the code since the first update came to New, New Horizons. And that's why I feel like the plan was to introduce all of these updates throughout, because look at the giant gap that we had between like major updates to the game. I think the last major update before the 2.0 up, the 2.0 one, correct me if I'm wrong, I feel like the major one was the Christmas update the year before. Maybe, maybe, like I could be wrong, but I remember like ever since that Christmas update, we weren't getting shit for the game. We were just getting like small minuscule updates, things that like brought new items. And like, you know, it was mainly items. Like we were just getting items. We weren't really getting gameplay or new characters or anything and that's why I feel like the plan was like throughout 2021 maybe we were supposed to get so many updates don't you dare come near me oh my god he was like walking right to me like I had any business wanting to look at him I just feel like that's why the 2.0 update happened it's like every single update that the game was supposed to get they just gave it all in one shot we were supposed to get new like Brewster in one update Right. And then we were supposed to get Harv's Island in another update. And like, then we were going to get 
Cap'n's Islands in one update. I think Happy Home Paradise was a, actually supposed to be a holiday title maybe the year before, but maybe still in 2021. I feel like it would make more sense for it to be a holiday title in 2020 because like, you know, the game was still fresh. The game was still kind of brand new and stuff. So like, obviously there would be a bigger audience that would be more interested in the game who would maybe want to check out the DLC and stuff. And it's like, I don't know. Like, I just feel like the 2.0 happened because of COVID and because of all the delays and stuff. Also, ever since the 2.0 update, we haven't gotten anything because maybe, just maybe, there weren't any updates planned after everything we got. Yeah, this game is still missing so much, but still fun. I have no complaints. Look at me, I'm still playing the game, no problem. Yeah, I have like a few complaints every now and then, that's true, but like nothing that I, are you kidding me? On the last ticket too, just for that reason, I'm taking 10 more tickets. No, coach wants to pull some bullshit like that. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I'm taking 10 more. I'm keep going. I'm gonna keep going. And people are also saying like, oh, we want more DLC at least. Maybe we might get another DLC for this game. But like, what would we get in terms of DLC? Because I'm not in the mood to play to pay for like updates we need. Honestly, if it's a necessity for us to have, why are you making us pay for it? Give it to us for free. It should have been in the game from the start. I remember, oh my God, that was one thing that always made me so mad when people were like, oh yeah, we'll pay, we'll pay, like make a DLC pack, <laughs> giving us all the quality of life. Like, do people remember this? People who were actively being like, yeah, we'll pay. We'll pay for quality of life updates. Get your fucking ass up right now if you were someone who thought that. I don't remember who, but I remember people saying we'll pay for a quality of life update maybe it was on twitter maybe it was like twitch streamers or something like i don't know whoever that was though why would you pay for a quality of life update i don't get that i don't get that that was the weirdest thing i remember hearing at one point and like i was just surprised because so many people agreed with that and i'm like sir why are you paying more money for a game <laughs> That's already like full price. I don't get it. Because at least with Happy Home Paradise, like that's a DLC pack that adds on to the gameplay. You know, it like expands the game, gives you more things that you don't necessarily need. You know, like nobody needs Happy Home Paradise. Nobody needs the ability to renovate your villagers' homes and design them vacation homes. Those are clearly just wants for people who prefer... <gasps> Oh my God, it's Teddy's brother. It's Teddy's brother. I'm taking him. <laughs> it's Nate, Nathaniel. I like to think he's Teddy's older brother, his older stoner vibes brother. Yeah, yeah, he looks like the type of person that would live in a shack. He, yeah, I'm taking him. I'm taking him. Oh my God, and he's wearing green too. I didn't even finish talking, but you know what? I feel like that was a good stopping point. Let's just end it there. Let's just head on. I got Nate. I love Nate. That's why I was willing to take him. I actually really like Nate. I think he's cool. I think he's cool. He has cool eyebrows. He's just so adorable. He's a lazy villager. I do love my lazy boys. Wait, this works out so perfectly too because Teddy's house is right here. And then you come this way and cut through this little shortcut I made and bam, Nate's house is right over here and he's about to move in. Oh my God, I'm gonna go say hi to him right now. Again. After I found a villager, another campsite villager, during a villager hunt. I mean, I guess, go off, like, cool. Where's Nate? Nate's house, I know where it is, it's right, oh my god, it's green. Ooh, wait, this does work. I'm, I'm all right with this. I, I'm vibing. Honestly though, this house does work, for now. I'm a fan, it matches the bus stop. That's like the best part, the fact that it actually matches the bus stop now. What's the inside like? Oh my God, this is literally the theme of my island. Oh my God, Nate, you are gonna be so perfect on this island, babes. Oh my God, I wonder how Teddy feels. Like his brother, his brother has moved on to the island. I love when things just work out on this island, I really do. Teddy, Teddy, you'll never guess who moved in just next door. Your older brother's here, are you excited? By the way, don't you just love a good massage to ease your sore muscles? Okay, you're flirting with me now? Who is in the campsite? Oh my God, Quinn. Why are you up so early? It's like seven in the morning. Sometimes I really want a taste of morning air. So I'll just stay up through the night. Wow. Oh, I see why you woke up at seven in the morning. Time for some tea right at the end of the video. Oh my God. Shino went shopping. 
found something for Quinn. Quinn got the gift and said that she now knows my tastes better than I do. Even though she's literally wearing something that is she knows colors. Those are literally she knows colors, white and red and brown. How do we feel about this? Because I don't know how I feel about it. And now look. It's seven in the morning when Quinn usually wakes up at nine. Sunny days are my absolute fave. On a sunny day, it feels like anything is possible. Shut up. Why are you trying to be a motivational speaker now? Fuck off. You, like, what are you doing? I love kids. I know I don't look like it, but I was an awesome babysitter back in the day. She's talking about kids right by Shino. Like, she knows what she's doing right now. She knows what she's doing. She's sending signals. I hope you don't receive them. Eagly, can you believe this shit? Like, what do you, th like, what is this? Oh my God. Oh my God. The way they are just staring at it. Ooh. Oh my God. They're talking. They're talking. Should we listen in or should, like, let's just listen in. What do these girls have to say? Quinn, you smell. S <laughs> they are flirting out in the open. Can you smell it, this? Oh, don't bring me into this. <laughs> what like flowers i don't freaking know don't know what you're talking about oh my god quinn is acting coy right now it is way adorbs that you love flowers so much you want to smell like them i'm gonna leave you two alone quinn stand up please stand up while i'm gone where is my campsite oh my god i just realized now it's gonna take like so much longer for me to get to the campsite because like <laughs> <laughs> the island's just getting destroyed at this point, man. Oh my god. Look how overgrown this area over here has become. Because I just have not tended to it at all. Who is the campsite villager? Let's end this video off with a reveal. In three, two, one. One. Get your fucking ass back to Fallbrook right this sec- Are you that desperate to be around me? You live on this island. Oh, 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 way to act so coy. Hey, I forgot you live here. Oh my God, this, who could have seen? Who could have, like, what are the coincidences? <laughs> he didn't even introduce, like he knows, he knows what he's, what are you doing here? This, this, <laughs> this, this is not something you can plan. This is the game knowing. This is the game no, they. I need to get up again. Oh my God. What? How about we play? We're already playing games right now. What the hell are you doing here? Are you kidding me? Are you like, what are the freaking chances? What are the chances? What are the chances? All 400 villagers minus the 10 that live on my island. Black, what? are the chances that Wolfgang spawns on this island. He knows what he's doing. He's here with a purpose. Oh my God, and now he's just talking. He's here to toy with me. He is here on, I had a dream last night. I moved to this island and you and I were hanging out. Bleh, 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 this, come back, come back to Fallbrook. I miss you, bleh, bleh, bleh. Mm. Hmm, you got too much going on to move right now. Hmm, you were the one who brought this up, Wolfgang. You were the one who brought this up. You brought this shit up. You know what? <laughs> I mean... <laughs> hey, Nintendo, it's me again. Why the hell did you have to make camping in this game like this? Why is it this complicated? Like, thank you. Thank you, you know, for giving us the ability to actually kick out a villager in this game. Because you couldn't do that in... Oh, oh, oh my god. Please, now please, please. Who is he thinking? <sighs> I knew it. I knew it. The one villager who's a me. Mm. You know, you know what? Miss Thing, the toxic little snake. She's trying to get her freaking claws on Quinn. And I am Quinn's best friend on this island, by the way. Just so we know. I need to do my best friend duties. Go for it. Get her out of here. You know what, Wolfgang? I don't want you here. But if me, if it means getting rid of that snake... Before she tries it on this island. She was planning on sailing. Yeah, she's, she's, Quinn probably rejected her. So she's moving on to leech onto somebody else. Mm-mm, mm-mm.
Miss Quinn, she already had too much drama dealing with Miss Flora. She doesn't need it with another girl. Not right now. She told me that directly. She did, okay? Just so we know. I'm just looking out for Quinn, okay? No, Igly just told me right now, Quinn, I heard you and Shino got into a fight. Hey, I'm trying to be more neighborly and get to know folks better. Oh, see, like, she, Shino, she was just so focused on Shino this entire time. Now that she realized Shino isn't the one to be messed with, she's trying to get more social with everybody else now. Mm-hmm. What's your favorite sport, girl? Girl, can I type drag race? I'm typing, I'm typing drag. Let's just put drag. I actually don't know a thing about drag. That actually surprises me, honestly. Ding dong, the witch is dead. Hey, this, thanks glitter bombs you're here. I decided to move off this island. Sorry to bolt, but I couldn't find the right time to tell you. So anywho, I'm packing a move. Thanks for kicking it with me, girl. I'm about to kick you if you don't get off this island right this second. I heard from great, great sources that she was planning something. So it's best that we just got rid of her now before things got worse. Although, you know, with that being said, I kicked out one evil only to invite another evil in replacement. Oh God, I mean, we might as well just time travel to the next day. He knew exactly what to do. He came with the plan because he heard from Teddy, because him and Teddy are still friends, the troubles that Shino was causing on this island. So he came in and knew exactly what to do. He offered to kick Shino out and in replacement, he moved in and now he's here. Oh my God. So now that we're neighbors again, maybe I should start borrowing your stuff. Shut the hell up. Don't you fucking try it right now. I just can't wait to see how all this is going to turn out. Teddy and Wolfgang on the same island once again. Help.